What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are over at Eric's house. Done a couple of feature films with Eric, but today he's upgrading the taillights from his LCI taillights to the GTS style. Taillights from Keys Motorsports. It's gonna be a good one. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Little bit of unboxing going on and look at how good these look so cool so they have a couple of different styles you can get like the black line ones and then the all red these are the most oe looking ones the all red in my opinion these are the best ones that you can get i think they look the cleanest so if you have not seen eric's car before good morning eric welcome back um so if you've not seen eric's 335 before this thing is absolutely insane you just did a uh, full fresh ceramic coating on it, but what a killer, killer build. And if you guys haven't seen all the details on it, I'm gonna leave a link right here. You guys can check out the feature film that we did on his car, but um, really, really good looking 335. He's running pure turbo on it, and it is a very, very clean and thorough build. So you can see right now he has the aftermarket LCI style tail light. They look a little bit lighter actually up here than the other ones I've seen. It's like almost pinkish right in here. So we're going from these over to the GTS tail lights. Um, these are probably one of the hottest trending items to put on your F30 right now. I feel like yeah. the internet has been has been swarmed with <laughs> GTS taillights. But I have to admit, man, they look really good. And the sequence, wait until we actually wire everything up and fire up the car, but the sequence of how it works is, is really cool too. So huge shout out to Keys Motorsports for sending these out to us. Um, Eric is gonna be our professional installer today while I do a little bit of filming and helping out but um, it should be a good one. These, I think these are gonna look really good on the Astoro Blue. There's a reason why it's the hottest trend at the moment. Yeah, I mean, they look really good. I don't blame people for doing them. If I still had an F30 or if I had gotten an F80, uh, yeah, I definitely would have done them. I was a little bit bummed when they first came out because I didn't have anything to put them on. <laughs> Rocking the F30. This is like throwback, throwback. You gave me that. So long ago. Eric's been watching the channel for a very long time. He's been on the channel for a very long time too. But yeah, man, we got the old F30 decals. This thing is looking sick, looking sick. And it's so smooth. I wouldn't even want to drive this. It's so clean, man. <laughs> you did such a good job. The last couple days, yeah. Ceramic coating it and actually used the graphene coating, didn't you? Yeah, the other was graphene. Yeah, it looks so good. All right, so let's get into this install. Oh yeah, these this guy comes off, right? All those come off. Actually, these are all, all Phillips these heads. And these, if you if you work on BMWs a lot, you know how important these are to have. These are <laughs> like plastic rivets. So if you guys are looking for a step by step tutorial, I'm gonna leave Brian's video linked down below. Brian did a really really detailed in depth video on the GTS taillights for the F30. He also shows examples of like the black. I think it's the black line or shadow line style. He showed the difference between all of them. So today we're doing like the most OE style ones, which are the red ones, which in my opinion look the best. Eric is gonna start the install. I'm gonna help him out a little bit. Let's get into it. I think the most difficult part is gonna be the wiring, but honestly, the way that Brian made it look, it doesn't even look that, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even look that tough. So I think we'll be able to knock it out pretty, pretty easily. <laughs> So you can see his wiring from his LCIs that he did. Probably redo these with the new tail lights and then use some Tessa tape. But yeah, you just gotta unclip these guys from here, pull that off, and then take out all these little guys. And this whole piece comes out. Yeah, those are gonna look good. Too bad they don't have them for the four series, huh? <laughs> All right, tail light is out. Put a little bit of tape on here, which is probably a good idea. When you pull out these tail lights, they can move around and hit. Damn, look at them doing it the right way. Getting in there and cleaning it all out. 
Mm, they do look nice. They do look nice. Little, little fiddly. Yeah, look really good. Good fitment. A little bit tight, but it's better than being a little bit loose. Removing the sheath. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Pull it. Slower. Slow. Slower. <laughs> Make the reveal spectacular. <laughs> I can't contain myself. <laughs> So what, one side has like a little plug that you just plug into the actual inner taillight, right? Yeah, the inner. And then it runs into a positive and negative that clips right into the actual outer taillight. Other than that though, it's plug and play, isn't it? Yes. One thing that I do remember Brian mentioning is that there's two plugs. Yep. One for if you are pre-LCI and one for if you are LCI. You are pre-LCI. Yes, sir. Makes it pretty easy. She's in there. Yeah, she's good. There, I want to explain something I want to use because those screw types suck shit. Whoa! Whoa! Language, sir! <laughs> oh, with these hands. Yeah, that too. actually have a new Milwaukee coming. 1800 BC? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> good to go. Let's see what they look like. Yeah. These look so good. Look at the definition too. Yeah, man, these look good. Ooh la la. So pretty easy install, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, piece little of cake. Fiddly. Little yeah. fiddly, some things here and there that we had to move around. Um, but once we got it situated, it uh, worked out well. These look really good, man. They look really good. It was kind of like the only thing that this car was missing. But the definition is really nice. It looks a little bit yellow on camera, but it's definitely not yellow. Uh, it's very red. So in real life, all these are red. And then you have these, which are yellow, kind of like a switchback for the turn signals. And then this is your brake, which is just red. So they look very nice, super, super good aftermarket option for any of you guys who are in the F30 or F80 game. Sounds like sooner than later, we should probably start seeing these for the four series, which will be nice. I know a lot of the four series guys are looking for options, but yeah, these are, these are a really cool addition to an F30. Um, if you guys are just looking to, you know, kind of bring the rear up to speed a little bit, regardless if you're pre LCI or LCI version, you can run these and I'm going to have them linked down below for keys motorsports. I'll also link down below Mr. Eric grand tours information. If you want to follow him, we've done a couple of videos on this car. Very impressive build. Go ahead and hit that link, man. Hit up some of these GTS taillights. They look super good. Hopefully he has some left. They were selling like crazy before. All right, you guys. So uh, like I said, link down below, hit that up. If you want to get some GTS taillights, been a uh, very easy process to install them. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.